Hello everybody, my name is Ace Face. We're gonna go out ratting in the cruise missile rattlesnake. This turbo rattlesnake, the amazing rattlesnake here, which is able to pretty safely do ratting in high risk systems that have a very high bounty risk modifier just because we can keep a long range and a line at all times. Uh, we're gonna do these then roosted havens. Pretty good size to do, a lot of big stuff that gives a lot of risk. We can just go to the ones that have the computer pop up because that's the one that we want to go to the rock haven warp in maybe 30 kilometers is a good range and then what we can do is we can go in and what i've done here differently compared to the previous fit i've been using because i actually had a previous fit that i did a cruise missile rattlesnake with if you've watched the previous videos i've made uh, this one is a lot cheaper 1.3 billion before we had like 2 billion plus now 1.3 billion i'm only going with very cheap modules tech 2 tech 2 tech 2 everything tech 2 apart from this large cat battery robotic fleet and also the pithex type kinetic shield hardener because this is going to enable us to tank a lot well uh I've not actually tested this fit a lot, so I can't give any big guarantees, but I think there will... Oh, this is actually the wrong side. We don't want to go to this one because we don't want to go to this gas haven. Hmm. Strange that we've got this one here, but uh, I guess we can do it anyway. Actually, no, you know, I want to do the rock haven. It's a lot better, I think. This is the one we want to do. Warp within 30. Okay. Go to this one. So, this has got some differences from the previous fit I used. First off, instead of having a Gist X type shield booster, we have then a large shield booster tech 2. Uh, a lot cheaper, and I don't think it's necessary to have the really bling one. And then we've got then also a drone navigation computer, and this increases the speed of our drones. Let's just see here, maximum velocity bonus, and I think that that could have a lot of benefits, because this will then make our drones zip around really quickly and take out stuff really fast. Uh, in some ways maybe it's not so worth it because in these rock havens everything is concentrated on one area so you could argue maybe that it's not so worth it but I think it is I think it will have some benefits we'll see here if it's going to serve any uh, it will do any good here but I, I think it will actually help a lot just quickly get on the target and then be able to just, just peace out uh, let's see if we can align this to warp one here because I've got different bookmarks in the system so now I can always be aligned at all times then I can just lock these guys up here and then I can just go in straight away. Oh, there seems to be a Cerberus here. I wonder what he's doing. He must have been writing here before, perhaps. Uh, let's get the the drones here. And then we'll just align to that warp out. Hmm, okay. I don't know if this guy is... This guy maybe wants to do ratting here. We can maybe move to a different one. Never mind. Okay, let's move to a different one. All right, this one. This one could be an idea. Warp within 30, I guess. I can stop a little bit there. Just wait until the... Until the drones have returned. See, now is he aligning out? He could be aligning out to that one, actually. See where he's going. Is he going to start attacking? Warp to the next one, we'll do that instead. Go to this other one. But what I like to do here is that I go with the the drones on everything that is like a little bit smaller. And then I have the uh, missiles and everything that's big. And then I use the target paintings on the small stuff. Could be an idea to, instead of this drone navigation computer, put an omnidirectional tracking link. That is very good because it can give us better tracking and also increased drone uh, range. So in some ways maybe that would be a bit better. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Okay, now we're here at this uh, fresh uh, rock haven. Okay. Align to this one here. Now we're here, align to this and get the drones out. And then let's get started. I've not got a whole lot of tank modules because our main tank is just keeping a little bit of range and not having to think too much about it in that regard. Could be an idea to have the rapid heavies, they could also be nice. But the great thing about the cruise missile is that we have really good range. And the rapid heavies don't have particularly good DPS when you factor in the reload time as well. I don't even need to bother here with the uh, the uh, target painters because the drones are going to attack these guys perfectly fine. 
and we're gonna we should apply pretty decently against the battleship here so then this is all we do we just align here and then we can even have the butt mouse ready and we just continue to do that at all times don't need to keep the shield booster active all the time wasting capacitor then we have this here there we go and then let's do the next one and we can even have the one highlighted all the time that we're lining to so it just becomes a bit clear which one we're going to easy and i like to spread them out a little bit I have the cruise missiles on one and then i have the uh the drones on the other one hmm could it be that we're not getting full application to this uh pith usurper uh i think we are 6.8 kd uh, damage or volleyball shots that's all right we've got less damage than before before we had 15 60 dps now we have 14 60 so we lost 100 dps but to be honest we had spent 100 mi 700 million isk on those bling damage modules which i had previously i've replaced them with tech 2 i don't think 100 dps is worth 700 million it could be maybe in the long run but feels a lot better just going like this and to me it feels a bit unnecessary i can understand though maybe the bling uh, the bling damage modules if you have fitting problems because the blinged ones also have very good uh, fitting capabilities There's a lot less cpu requirements so they can be very useful in that regard there we go so now i just like to lock up all these little frigates here and then i don't really care at all about uh, doing much with our missiles on them i just have my drones take care of them and put the missiles on the battleship where i have the two target painters the drones my drones just absolutely wreck these frigates like no problem whatsoever just like that you see easy no problem just like almost one shots them and this is where i think that perhaps the drone link augmenter could come in handy in that we have the drones move to the next target a lot quicker because there's a bit of a delay here you know until we go to the next target so i'm guessing that maybe the uh, not drone link augmenter but the drone navigation computer that is so it could perhaps be useful there Where's warp one at least we're going to here and it becomes a little, very minimal management we just focused on focus on the small stuff instead because i just have the cruise missiles going off all the time against the uh the uh, battleships and then i just focus on putting the target painters on the right target because i don't need to put use target painters for the battleships with the cruise missiles the cruise missiles are already to max application and we've got a varga here too pretty cool seeing our varga I don't know how they dare to do ratting here if they've got any strategies actually that'd be quite cool to know because i don't dare to use a marauder here because i feel like if someone comes in they're just gonna wreck me straight away unless there may be could be perhaps that they've got pvp fit so then maybe they could perhaps fight off people try to bait people into attacking them and that could be an idea but i mean our dps is nothing compared to varga I mean, perhaps a cheap Marauder could be worth it if you're very strategic and looking in the local all the times and uh, ratting a good uh, pace in that regard. Then maybe it could be worth it because you have like almost double you double the amount of DPS I can imagine you can get compared to our ship here. And then you get double the amount of risk per hour. So we've got that warp one selected, great. And we go so slowly, so it doesn't really matter that we're like moving all the time it's not like we're going to get out of range we just need to keep inside our drone control range which is like 83 kilometers i believe as long as we're in the drone control range then it's okay because then we can assign them to these little frigates and if we're able to then complete a whole site before we go out of the, the drone control range then it's really great and we can also realign to these different bookmarks because basically what these are these are different bookmarks in the system and i probably should make some more tactical bookmarks maybe one that's over there behind the, the anomalies and one that's on the other edge of the system so that we're always going back and forth so that we don't really go to and forth because this warp one bookmark goes this way i think the warp two goes somewhat like this it's got like a 90 degree angle between between them ideally i'd want to have one that goes this way and then one that goes this way so then i don't drift too far away and i'm still able to align at all times 
But this is pretty good for grabbing, I think, this fit here, because we're just able to chill a line at all times. I think carriers can do a similar strategy, but carriers are also pretty difficult because the NPCs love to attack your fighters. Carriers, they can then align out at all times, and then if something bad happens, you just warp out, and that's it. Oh, for this guy here. Let's check our ISK here. Encounter surveillance system. Yeah, a lot of uh, ISK has been paid out because I've been doing a lot of bounty ratting. I think it gives like every hour or so. Now we can just shield boost a bit. No need to like worry too much about the tank. It seems because before I had two of these Pithex types. Now I only have one and it seems still like the tank is no problem whatsoever. I just, you know, relax here. Only the last wave can perhaps be a little bit intense if a lot of DPS hits you at the same time. But I still don't worry about that because you're just negating so much by your range and resists that I don't care. So then we've got like this and then I have the dual target bit. Oh, they're already wrecking them here. And go for this one. I don't even feel like these target paints are really necessary because it seems like our... Uh, drones are able to take them out. I think they are, it's just that they happen to maybe attack the ones that are going slowly because if we look at the uh, these uh, frigates then some of them are like going maybe 50 meters a second and there they're a lot easier for the drones to take care of because they're just going so slowly. Then we need to compensate that with if they were going fast with the, the dual, dual target painters. And the reason I'm using a target painter not something else is just because target painters they work really well at long range. I wonder if it would actually be better maybe to just ditch the target painters and put perhaps uh, the drone uh, link augmenters, or not the drone link augmenters, but the drone tracking computers. Not sure which is better. Because then I won't even need to think about putting these on them. But I think target painters are more effective at increasing the DPS you do against these frigates. But I'm not 100% sure about that actually. If you guys know, let me in the comments down below. I'd really like to know. I think you could probably do some tests in Piffa. You can test that, actually. Because it's a program where you can simulate. Like, target is moving at this speed, at this angle. With this module affected. How good are you at tracking, I think. Something like that. You know what we could do is make like a warp out bookmark, like maybe a few hundred kilometers away when you're warping into the site. So then you can always warp in and out between those and then be able to go through them. So if you go too far away, then you can always do that. So you know you need to have something like an MJD, because an MJD would be useful for those kind of reasons. I can even get a little bit closer maybe because we're now getting quite close to the border. You see some of these like 77, 78 kilometers away. I don't like it really matters too much because I think we've got an auto aggression going on as well. So we can sort of counteract that factor. Even though they're too far away, we can still sort of counteract it a bit. But the great thing about target pages is they work really far away. So nice. So my drones can just obliterate these annoying ECM uh, cruisers. They can get really annoying when they start ECMing you. Or well, maybe these are not the ones that ECM you, because I know some of these cruisers can ECM you. It doesn't seem like any of them are trying. Where does the warp 2 bookmark go to? <laughs> it's annoying that they're all going this way. If we were warped in at this location, then it would be quite optimal. Big hits we're getting with those cruise missiles. Nice to see, nice to see. Nullify, I definitely think they can ECM. Is it possible to see here? No, it doesn't say anywhere. And I think some of them do like to come a bit close to us. Okay, we do not need to shield boost that much, <laughs> so that we get low and no capacitor left. And really, we don't even need to be too tensed up here, because we see that there's no hostiles in the system, or potential hostiles in the system. Now, it can be pretty relaxed, but like say, if there are people here, then we can always just have our like mouse ready to just click here to just warp out. The sign of danger. Easy. Is this the last wave? I think it actually might be the last wave. So we completed, it seems like we completed the, the Grist's Haven very quickly, actually. Can have the drones destroy all the battle cruisers and have all the missiles destroy the 
battleships in the meantime. Similar to how we've done before. Unlock some of these guys. Where are we were aligning to? Let's align to number one here. It's great, we barely even need to, need to move at all, actually. And we could even perhaps warp in a little bit closer distance, then we will have more time to be able to close distance and not have to worry about getting too far away. Good idea to, I think, spread out the drones like this. So then they don't have to travel as much. And you can see a tank is requiring, or has a bit higher requirements here in the last wave, but it's not at all much to worry about. You've got good resist with this fit. So you're just overall really powerful. Pith the Serper. There we go. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. And go for that one here. There's 81 kilometers away, almost going outside our drone control range. But this cruise missile rifle seems to be really effective, very powerful. Even though it's very cheap, doesn't seem to have any issues whatsoever in taking them out. We can't go for that 84 kilometer one, but we'll go for this 81 kilometer one here. That's our drone control range, 84 kilometers. I mean, it could be an idea to actually have module here instead of the hydraulic bay thrusters we could have the control chip it increases the range of dr drone control range at large drone control range augment of it reduces the cpu as well so that is a bit problematic there and also removes the hydraulic bay thrusters and those are good for the missiles because it reduces their travel times it's nice that they're able to hit fast i think Okay, that was a pretty easy haven right there. I think we did it in like 17 minutes, 16 minutes maybe. Very quick we were. And we also spent a lot of time walking around too. And it's also a very cheap fit as well, like relatively speaking. I'm not saying, oh yeah, this is something you get day one, you know, but relatively speaking for rattlesnake this is a very cheap fit i mean all the modules the ship itself costs 1.2 billion and then the fittings is uh, 100 million so it's like one, 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 less than one tenth of the price on the fittings and it's able to perform pretty well i think perhaps could be optimized by removing that drone uh, navigation computer not 100 percent sure if it is good or not maybe we could instead put a drone tracking link could be an idea Definitely don't need more tank, at least. This tank with the Tech 2 large shield booster and the Pithex type kinetic shield hardener seems perfectly fine. So we can focus all on just being able to destroy these guys as quickly as possible with as long range as possible. Okay, let's warp out. There we go. You can see we've got some neutrals here in the system, but it's alright, it's alright. Regal Catalyst. Like, I wonder if like, if you wanted to make as much DPS as possible, you could do something like this. You know, like a bay loading accelerator, maybe. Or maybe that's not good because it's going to consume more ammunition. So maybe Kale Fraction Catalyst, Large Warhead Kale Fraction Catalyst. And then you go with a Regal Catalyst. Can't even do that. Okay, a Flare Catalyst. That could be good. Take one, maybe. And then you go with the. Uh, Drone damage amplifiers, the, the bling ones here. You now this bling that here, you've got 1.6k DPS, that's pretty nice. And then you can maybe have some implants to even buff that even more actually. Possible there as well. Augmenteds won't be a good idea, I think. Augmenteds can increase your DPS, but it's just going to be so much headache in terms of like uh, the resist type. The resist type is not going to be optimal. You can see here, if we were to have like wasp um augmented wasp you can see what kind of dps we get augmented so you get like a little bit extra dps but the it's going to do a bit of thermal damage as well which is not optimal for the grista so i would think that's not a good idea plus these are much expensive drones so if you for some reason lose them it's a bit annoying having to spend like I don't know, 30 million isk per drone or something like that they're a lot more expensive but these look cool implants could be cool as well so i mean i don't know could be good to have like a lot of these damage modules we could then maybe change the tracking here as well see if there's a tracking computer maybe i can try that as well 
I don't know. We'll see. But it is quite cool though. If I'm able to use it like a Calfaction cat. Oh, 27 million isk tick. And we didn't even use like the full uh, time. So probably like 35 million isk tick is like a full, like, a, you know, with a full, um, full tick duration. I think that would be pretty cool. <laughs> Man, this fit is really great actually. All right, so I'll see you later. I do like to be able to do, you know, maximize the DPS here. But on the other hand, it might be cool to just be able to, you know, have a pretty economical fit at the same time as well. Not have to worry too much about losing it the same way. Yeah, for these small, tiny benefits, so much extra risk. So we'll see. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, Rattlesnake being able to crush the Havens with a cruise missile style in Nalsic. If you did enjoy the video or learned something new, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.